I'm Colm Healy. I'm an assistant professor here at Harvey Mudd, and I'm a moth researcher. So it's been really exciting to hear that moths are getting the, the Nobel Prize. It's a really cool vindication of our work. It uh, proves that it's not just me who finds it interesting. Other people find it interesting and cool, too. So that's always nice. So moths are metal organic frameworks. So they've got an inorganic component. So that's the metal. Uh, they've got an organic component. And they combine together and make these sort of three-dimensional framework structures. And the reason they are sort of different from other classes of materials is they tend to have pores in the material. So I always describe them as like being sponges. They've got all these little holes in the structure so that those holes can basically soak stuff up. The particular angle that I like to research is the thermal properties of moths. So basically what happens when you heat them up and cool them down? Do they change structure when that happens? We have some really cool results. It gets better at being a catalyst or better at capturing materials and, and doing all this really cool work. And so all all kinds of different applications for these, but um, some of the big ones are because of those pores, you can soak up gases into those holes, particularly greenhouse gases are a big thing that people are interested in, in capturing, obviously. So the idea being that you could soak up molecules into those holes in the structure. Most sort of chemistry courses, uh, you tend to be doing sort of old school chemistry. You don't tend to be doing new cutting edge chemistry in a teaching lab in your first year. And so the idea that uh, students are actually making these really cool, really exciting, like cutting edge materials in their first semester is I think really exciting. And that's not an uh, experience that people get in other places.